Hello, I'm Danilo. This is a, an interactive reading. So choose your pile. And so we can start. I'm using the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot and the Oracle of Halloween. The, no, sorry, the Halloween Oracle. So it's a full theme reading but uh, I'm not focusing on uh, couples or uh, jobs or whatever. It's a very general situation. So if you have chosen, we can start. I'm going to the middle first. So the tarot cards are the Ten of Potions, which is this deck version of the cups, the Three of Needles, which of course are the swords, and then the Six of Needles. And our Oracle message is Trick or Treat. Now, let's see if I can Showcase all three of them. Maybe if I go a little bit more like here. Maybe I should just do this. And it will be a little bit easier. Okay. So. So, the future tells us that emotionally we have come to an end of our journey. So, whether it is a relationship or a situation at work or whatever it is, we are done emotionally. We have closed our circle, we are done, we are fine. So, whether it is a negative sort of emotion such as pain or sadness or whether it is a positive one it's done we have finished we can move to something else we can move to something different mm -hmm. there is a new challenge so whether it is positive or negative we have got emotionally speaking what we could from our situation we are moving to a phase with the Three of Needles, Three of Swords, a phase where we have to start actively planning and working and uh, talking to people that can help us, uh, but with a purpose. We have already done the meeting of the of, of others, that can help us, that can give us advice, that can change our situation. We have already spoken to the people in our lives. We, we have done the, this is my initial thought. I tell you, I tell it to you and you give me an answer based on what you, you think about my idea that is done we are entering the phase where we have to start building something we have to start changing something rationally and by means of dialogue so we need to talk with the right people we need to use the right words this is not just uh, brainstorming phase this is we start to build something we start to make the first steps Again, as a project, as an idea, as a speech, so also relationship, because of course with our words we influence our relationships with others, especially in the beginning, we can completely shift how we are perceived by talking to someone. So from what I from what I see here with the six of needles at the end 
we have a success we have the breaking of a negative pattern we have a resolution through rational thoughts through clear thinking and listening and speaking so the emotional impasse i feel here the emotional weight it's done yes the ten of of cups uh, is usually a good card for some people if, especially if you read the rider weight but to me a ten of any suit is the end so it could be a happy ending or it could be it's over you have to move to something new from what i see here it's something new there's a meeting with someone else there are meetings with the people again useful for solving the situation the frustration we start to build to a common idea we start to build to a common mm, to form a, a a plan okay rationally not allowing our uh, enthusiasm to take over but uh, being logical and even clinical if needed to be with the situation and then we solve our problem thinking creatively speaking truthfully and using our our intellect our being smart basically so again connection speech and clear thoughts are the solutions for our frustration let's call it that and the message from the oracle is the trick or treat card which mean which here have the mischief and play key card, keyword sorry which means basically uh, you have to start playing again you have to start stop being so serious i'm realizing just right now how off centered i am i apologize so basically this card is telling us to have fun to play to even trick someone that have always in play always in a joking kind manner of course it's not a card that uh, is telling us to be uh, rude or uh, a, a kind of nasty people nasty person sorry it's telling us we need to have fun again so with the speech and the intelligence uh, and maybe thinking more with our heads instead of our heart and again the solution coming from talking and thinking and the stagnant energy in the emotional department i think it's really well connected we need to start thinking more rapidly more clearly more um, quickly mm, forget a little bit about our emotions allow our emotional side our feelings to change based on the situation based on uh, who we talk to what we do and just have fun just uh, share happy moments happy memories and uh, happy thoughts and jokes with people that's how we can get better that's how we can unlock the situation now mm. let's go with this nope okay so let's see the five of candles which are the ones the nine of presents which are the pentacles and the six of potions which 
again are the cups and our message from the oracle is the cauldron okay let's see if i can show all four <laughs> okay so the situation here of course is it's represented by a, a conflict or a um, needless sort of competition sort of um, fight it could be a playing fight it could be something that's meant to be fun but it's actually going to frustrate you i feel i i keep focusing on them so it's an actual fight you're not someone assisting to someone else fighting and again it's not getting you anywhere you need to transition to a phase where you actually realize and then first analyze and then realize who in your life is no longer useful right now on a practical everyday way so someone you see very often someone you work with someone you think you can count on it's no longer the person you need it's no longer the person you have to spend all this time together it's no longer the person that can really help you that much it's someone that you are fighting too much you have too many thoughts not aligned with each other you have uh, different ways of doing this and it's just bringing up confusion and uh, stress and a waste of energy so again very practical very everyday base it's not necessarily a friend it's not necessarily your spouse or your your partner relationship speaking but it is someone especially on work or again someone that you see every day with which you do something okay there is an activity there is a physical connection it's no longer useful to you so if you can without suffering cut them out if you can't just stop paying them attention just enough that you can prevent keep fighting over trivial things if you do this you get to the six of potions so a situation when there's more calm where there's more happiness where there's more serenity and sharing our serenity with each other so it's the key giving a little bit of space from this person or uh, just allow the frequency with which you see each other to dim a little bit it's the solution to save the relationship in itself and especially to feel better yourself and to get back in your life people you had abandoned or you couldn't see any longer or had problem with this person and therefore decided to take themselves out of the equation so you can just benefit from it the oracle message with the cauldron we have synergy and healing therefore it's a message about taking care of everything at the same time working so that uh, every single piece follows into place with each other therefore it's not a having to run every which way to keep the ship running but everything naturally falls one after the other you just have to keep going and naturally everything goes with you and of course the healing part is uh, pretty obvious there is healing there is betterment there is recharge of your energies and all that.
let's go with the last one we have the tower the five of potion and strength so we have all the major arcana in this pile plus a minor and the barmbarak i'm sure i'm slaughtering the pronunciation of this but let me know as the oracle message so here we have the situation which is done again we have a an end we have a a falling of sorts so an abrupt stop to the situation and confusion and fear and the fear of not being able to uh, rise up and get back on our feet that leads us to a moment of heartbreak of loneliness of despair of uh, convincing ourselves we are done we have lost we cannot fix what is broken from this burning down uh, of the building we cannot rebuild anything but if we have enough patience if we give it enough time with the card of strength it, it tells us that actually keep working on it even maybe taking a little bit of a break even maybe allowing this pain this dissatisfaction to exist for the time it needs to and then use it as an excuse to re ignite that fire that need to change the thing that need to prove we can to prove our idea was right to prove that we can be happy again to to face the challenge because we will not be broken by this we can get back on our feet we can triumph we can win we can recover we can be better so it's not over uh, for us it could be over for the thing as it is as it was it could be that we have to abandon what it could have been but for us this pain is not everything that's left in front of us we have just the the strength the energy the perseverance to keep going enough to start digging ourselves out of the hole we have what it takes to be happy again we just have to accept it we just have to keep going we just have to allow our sadness to exist we have to acknowledge it and then allow it to transform into this need for betterment that's going to give us the strength to keep going with our days and then get to the point where everything is good again with the oracle message we have sweetness and synergy so again joy collaboration uh, working together things falling into place all together all at the same time happiness sustenance nourishment so warmth so it's our inner energy our inner ability to keep going to keep persevering that's going to bring us back to a situation where we can smile where we can genuinely be happy where we can feel warm inside where everything 
seems to once again work in our favor. So, we are done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Please subscribe, hit the bell button and leave me comments and likes on the videos. Bye!